Number 10. Corkscrew When a 55-year-old man didn't show up for work and missed his daily telephone call to Carlene Renalik, the mother of his children, she became worried and took her three children with her to his apartment. Once there, the 11-year-old daughter found her father in his bedroom, lying face up with a corkscrew stabbed in the side of his head. The young girl ran out in shock, saying, Daddy's dead! Somebody stabbed him! This incident happened in 2008, and it appears no arrests have been made. Number 9. Pickle Jar When a 16-year-old boy was being abused by a family friend, he decided he had to do something to bring it to an end. He struck the man in the head with a pickle jar weighing about 10 pounds. He then stabbed the man to make sure that he had killed him. The boy was sentenced to only five years of probation since a judge was convinced that his claims of abuse were factual. The boy's attorney asked him why he didn't tell anyone that he was being abused. The teen said, I was scared of people knowing. Number 8. Shoe Stefan Anderson, a professor from the University of Houston, ended up with more than 10 holes in his head via a remarkably sharp stiletto shoe. Some of the holes were 3.8 centimeters or an inch and a half deep and all were made by his girlfriend, who was found at the crime scene covered in blood. She plunged the spiked heel of her shoe into his head and face at least 25 times after pinning him to the floor. According to a motel manager where the woman lived, she had said in the past that her shoe was for protection and she'd use it to get anyone who messed with her. Apparently, she wasn't kidding. In 2014, she was sentenced to life in prison. Number 7. Dessert Spoon A man named Richard Clare escaped out a window in a drug rehabilitation center in Hertfordshire, England to collect money a disabled friend supposedly owed him. When he couldn't get any cash off the man, Richard took his cell phone as part of a heroin deal. When the victim went to get his phone back, Richard hit him on the back of the head with a dessert spoon, which ruptured an artery and caused fatal bleeding between his brain and skull. Seven years later, in 2010, Richard Clare was convicted of homicide and given no fewer than 27 years in prison. Number 6. Guitar a man drove a car into a Baptist church and then beat a pastor to death with an electric guitar that he had picked up in the church's music room. Later, he told authorities he was paranoid that someone had injected him with drugs and he had tried to get help from a medical center. While he was never professionally diagnosed, everyone believed he was mentally ill. His motive may never be clear since he died after being subdued by police on the scene and placed in a patrol car. Number 5. Microwave In one of the most horrific cases one can imagine, a drunk woman placed her baby in a microwave oven and turned it on following an argument over who the baby's father was. The baby was killed after spending two minutes inside the oven, and the mother was later sentenced to life in prison with no possibility of parole. In her defense, she said that it was due to her history of seizures, which she had been suffering from for more than six years. Number 4. Pen A jealous student killed his girlfriend by stabbing her with a pen. The murder took place in the University Halls of Residence back in 2007. Her body was found severely injured that the death was inevitable. He tried to make up an alibi by ringing a friend to say that he had been at a party. He later forged a note to give the impression that she had been killed by her new boyfriend. Number 3. Spatula in 2010, a very pissed off mother beat her five-year-old girl to death with a spatula. The case was covered extensively back in 2010 as both parents lied about the girl's condition, tried to fool the investigators, and get away with it. Only the mother was charged with murder, but the father, trying to cover up the truth, was held in for child abuse. Number 2. Prosthetic Leg In 2011, Deborah Hewitt, a homeless woman, was convicted of killing her boyfriend with her own prosthetic leg. According to reports, she stomped on her boyfriend, Dwayne Ball, then took off her prosthetic leg and used it to beat him to death, all while balancing on one good leg. The decomposing body of the 47-year-old victim was found about six weeks later. Deborah appeared to show no remorse for the crime she did. When arrested and booked by the sheriff's office, she was smiling and laughing in her mugshot photo. 
Number 1. Xbox Console In 2013, a 20-year-old woman was found next to an Xbox 360 gaming console that was badly broken and bloodied. The woman was apparently killed by her boyfriend, Darius Johnson, who used a console to beat her to death. The boyfriend later claimed that his girlfriend had control of his spirit and that he decided to break the spell, it was necessary to sacrifice someone who was born under the astrological sign Taurus. This does not explain his reason for killing her since she was not born under that sign. Not only did Johnson beat his girlfriend with the Xbox, he also stabbed her repeatedly with a knife in some kind of post-mortem ritual. The woman didn't have defensive wounds on her hands, indicating that a ritual stabbing may have taken place while she was overpowered and beaten with the console. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe for more top 10 videos.